Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Kid Connect at Home. I'm so excited that you're joining me today. Let's get started by saying our remember verse together. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. Psalm 139, 23 through 24. Well, I'm so excited to tell you about a person today who had to work really, really hard to see Jesus and had to come up with a creative way to see him. As you read the Big God story, you might notice that Jesus often time spent time with people who were not powerful or popular. But he also spent time with people who were powerful and popular. Jesus loved all kinds of people. Jesus came to seek and save all people. So grab your Bible and turn to Luke 19 with me. We're going to start with verses 1 and 2. Jesus entered Jericho and made his way through the town. There was a man there named Zacchaeus. He was the chief tax collector in the region and he had become very rich. So I need your help today. Whenever you hear me say the name Zacchaeus, put your hand above your eyes as if you're looking for someone far away and sit as tall as you can and pretend to be seen over a crowd of people. The man we will hear about today, Zacchaeus, was a man in need of a savior. Zacchaeus was disliked by the people around him, by his community, because he was a Jewish tax collector. And not just any regular tax collector, he was a chief tax collector. No one liked the tax collectors. Taxes are money that the government takes from its citizens to pay for things like roads, schools, and parks. Though taxes help the government and public places run smoothly, they're not fun to pay. The Roman government hired men like Zacchaeus to collect the money they needed. But tax collectors back then didn't just collect the money that the government needed. They also collected extra money to keep for themselves. And that's why people didn't like the tax collectors. They had the right to take money, money most people needed and wanted. So one day, Jesus was passing through Zacchaeus' hometown of Jericho. As usual, crowds of people followed Jesus everywhere he went and gathered around him. There were so many people that some people couldn't even see Jesus through the crowd. Zacchaeus really wanted to see Jesus. So let's read what he did. He tried to get a look at Jesus, but he was too short to see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree beside the road for Jesus was going to pass that way. Jesus then saw Zacchaeus up in the tree. Let's read what happened. When Jesus came by, he looked up at Zacchaeus and called him by name. Zacchaeus, he said, quick, come down. I must be a guest in your home today. Zacchaeus quickly climbed down and took Jesus to his house in great excitement and joy. Although Zacchaeus was happy to have Jesus over to his house, how do you think the crowd reacted? The Bible says the people were displeased. He has gone to be the guest of a notorious sinner, they grumbled. Everyone else was upset. He's going to a sinner's house, they muttered to each other. These people didn't understand that Jesus came to show God's love and grace to everyone, both people who loved God and people who didn't. Jesus wanted sinners to turn from their sin and follow him. Eating at the house of this unpopular tax collector was exactly what Jesus wanted to do. Because of Jesus, Zacchaeus decided to change. He said he was going to give half of his money to the poor. Then to the people he cheated, he would give them back four times as much. He chose to turn from his old life right away and to stop unfairly taking money from people. 
Zacchaeus showed his faith in Jesus by obeying God's laws about cheating. Because of Zacchaeus' faith, Jesus could tell that the tax collector had chosen to follow God. Luke 19, 9 through 10 says, Jesus responded, Salvation has come to this house today, for this man has shown himself to be a true son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and save those who are lost. Zacchaeus' community didn't like him, but Jesus saw Zacchaeus as a sinner in need of a savior. So Jesus called Zacchaeus by name and spent time with him. Because of Jesus, Zacchaeus chose to change. He turned from his old life of sin and turned toward Jesus. While Jesus was still with Zacchaeus, he declared that he had come to earth to seek and save the lost. We all have something in common with Zacchaeus. Because of our sins, we are all in need of a savior. Jesus calls us each by name, seeks to spend time with us, wants a relationship with us, and invites each and every one of us to be part of the big God story. The big God story kept going even after the Bible ended. We are all part of the story when we have a relationship with God. And you can make that decision today just by saying yes to Jesus. Next week is Palm Sunday. And we're going to start talking about what happened leading up to when Jesus died on the cross. That's a really sad part of the story, but we know it's not the end of the story. And it's a really powerful one. So I hope you guys have a great week and join me again next time. Bye.